This week, we are back on the road and find out if our camper van is overweight now that we are completely moved in. We tackle a few DIY projects and share our thoughts on the cassette toilet. Yesterday was our first day on the road, officially in the camper van, living out of it full time. We stopped in at Joe's sister's house. That ultimately for me is what I was looking forward to with camper van life. First night and it's raining. Be a muddy mess in here real soon. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah, Leo's paw prints. Bye guys. Bye, love you. Thank you for having us. I love your parking job, by the way. Oh, how close I am? Yeah. This is a tight street. Yeah, we could never do this in the regular sized RV. No. How awesome was it? I just, I know I've already recounted this, but we're parked outside your sister's house and we can go in and have coffee with them. I mean, there's no way we could have done that in the big RV. No. I'm thinking it was, we drove past it. I think it's on the diesel fuel side. Oh, I thought the sign said scales this way. It did, but I think Oh, it's there. over there. Yep. Okay. We have to take a parking ticket? Free first two hours, any purpose. I'm gonna have to unbuckle. What do you think we're gonna weigh in at? I'm guessing 93 with the extra stuff we have on board like our donations and all of that stuff. My guess is 91. I th I actually think we might come in under nine. I seriously, I think we, we really don't have that much stuff. Our fuel tank is half though, so we should account for that. Yep. Our gray and fresh water tank is still the same because we haven't dumped or added any water. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see where we end up. Leo, what do you think, bud? Leo thinks we're gonna be overweight. No way. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going up. You may have to lean out of the window. Well, I just want to make sure I stay on the scale. First one? Hi. I'd like to get my weight for the vehicle. Are you trying to get a military or DMV weight? Uh, no, just for personal reference. Okay, we have your weight inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we want to make sure we're not overweight, that's all. Just for personal reference. Okay. Have a good one. <laughs> he thought we had to go through the scales on the highway. Oh. Now I have to figure out how to get out of here. He seems so fascinated that we were on the scale. Like trying <laughs> to figure out our weight. He was like, you're worried about being overweight? Was like, he a trucker? He looked like he was a truck driver. Yeah, walking over to the... Oh. To the main office. Okay, so I double checked. Our GVWR, the max weight this thing can be, okay, is um, 9350. 9350. My guess was 93. Your mm -hmm. guess was 90, 91, 91. But I said I would not be surprised if we came in at around 9,000 or under. Okay. Let me see. Show the crowd. So there we are. Steer axle, drive axle, and we're underweight on both the steer and the drive axle for a total of 89.80. Yeah, and our steer axle stayed the same. When we had the first way, it was 4,000. Uh -huh. So only the drive axle went up. Man. I told you we didn't have that much stuff. And we filled, I mean, we pretty much filled this thing. 
Under 9,000. I should have made a bet with you. You should have. I would have won. You would have. I feel really good about that. Good. You too? Me too. Good job, Leo. Good job, bud. First fuel up. How many tanks do you think? We're putting, I mean, how many gallons do you think we're putting in? Only about 10. How much is gas today? Uh, 257. So we got, let's see, we did 140 miles on the trip odometer. We ran the engine for, I would say, about an hour and a half, maybe a bit longer. We added 10 gallons, so 14 MPG with idling the engine for an hour and a half. I think that's pretty good, and that's double what we used to get in the RV just driving. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Van we're life. So we're off the Home Depot now to pick up some hooks and that we can put on the walls and see what else we can come up with. Fun DIY project. Yes. My future apparently is so bright, I've got to wear shades. Oh, that's so much better. Over and I can feel a significant reduction in the yes, sun coming. Yes, I That's gonna take a picture, but I can't see. It does blind you. I feel like if we're boondocking in the desert, it would be hard for people to walk up if the sun is hitting. <laughs> <laughs> like a big warning. Planes are gonna be able to see us. That is powerful. easy. It was. That only took less than an hour. And we were filming the whole time. So that took a lot longer. Good. Yeah, I like being able to just jam it in. Joe's working. I'm going to get a salad started for lunch. If you're wondering where Leo is, he is passed out outside. You okay, honey? Mm -hmm. Babe, why is Leo so interested in your hand? What do you have well, on there? I burned my finger and my mom put this animal fat oil. It's like a Chinese, you know, one of those Chinese things you do. Uh -huh. And Leo is obsessed with my middle finger right now. <laughs> he wants to eat it. It's just burn cream, bud. Come it's on. not good for you. spent the last few nights uh, driveway surfing at Kate's parents' house. As you can see, the van fits perfectly. Leo, what do you think, bud? He just wants to go outside. Why don't you tie him up? It's a good thing we kept the kettlebell. I know. It's time to dump the cassette. dumped that was my second time dumping the cassette in my parents house thank you mom and dad really simple to use I don't see what the big deal was or why I was so worried about the cassette toilet I can see how simple it would be to take the cassette to a rest area and dump it in there it's lasting us for about two days we are letting it hit the red light indication so we have an idea of how long we can go I already told Joe that I'm happy to dump this next year if he doesn't want to do it Actually, that's the first time I've heard her say she's going to dump all year. Is this true? Yeah. In the last year and a half, I did all the dumping with the exception of one time. So, I'm saying right now on camera, <laughs> I'm happy to dump 
I'm so happy we have this YouTube channel to record things like this. So you guys are my witness. She is going to dump for the rest of the year. Oh. I'll shake on it. Okay. Left hand shake. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're I'm welcome. I'm excited about that. If I have to dump every two days in the next 365 days, uh huh. that's 182 days of dumping. And a half. And a half. <laughs> and maybe more, maybe less. Next time. Actually, we have no idea what's going on next time, so tune in Wednesday to find out.